Uh, this is Tom Paulson of Humanosphere, KPLU, uh, near the site of the 2012 International AIDS Conference, talking with Timothy Ray Brown, a former Seattle man known mostly to us as the Berlin patient. He's the only person in the world ever cured of AIDS through a bone marrow transplant. And before we get into the scientific stunner, Timothy, uh, just tell me a little bit about, you know, where you think you're at. Is it difficult to be called a miracle? Um, I, it, it, um, I go back and forth between thinking it's a scientific miracle, um, that, uh, that it's science that brought about my cure, um, or divine intervention. Um, and you said the experience changed you. How did it change you? Uh, it basically um, gave me a purpose in life. Um, basically, um, I decided that I needed to find, found my or start my own foundation. Um, it's the Timothy Ray Brown Foundation, um, with help of the uh, the World AIDS Institute, um, which which is doing a lot of work um, around the uh, the conference here. And what do you want to do with the foundation? What do you want to accomplish? My goal is basically to um, uh, gather money from donors, um, to uh, donors worldwide to um, allow um, medical researchers to be able to use their knowledge um, and their, um, their what they've learned um, from my case um, to um, find a cure for HIV for... For everyone, and, and what do you say to the, the? There's still a lot of skeptics that a cure is even possible, and 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 you know I know there's a lot. This is a long debate, but very briefly, what would you say to somebody who says uh, that's still too far fetched? Bill Gates basically mm -hmm. said that yesterday. It's mm -hmm. too far fetched. Not going to happen in our in the near future. What what's your main uh, response to the skeptics? I would say that. Um, my my survival and my um, my cure is a proof from, uh, in concept that it can be done, and uh, and a lo there's a lot of um, medical research going on around um, based around the, uh, the medical um, science world um, based on my my cure. Okay, and so I'm told that you may be moving back to Seattle. I know you lived in Seattle, were born, was born at Northgate Hospital, bounced around, lived in a lot of different areas uh, near near Green Lake, finally, which is where I live. Um, and uh, why are you, uh, you, I understand you're thinking of moving back. Can you tell us a little bit about wh why you might? Um, because uh, San Francisco is horribly expensive and um, mm -hmm. uh, even worse than New York. I get, I've heard, um, and uh, uh, I live basically on um, a very fixed income. Um, I, uh, I, it's about um, about nine hundred dollars a month, mm -hmm. and uh, and I have to pay a third of my money to rent, and mm -hmm. um, and that is uh, um, that's very cheap comparative, yeah, comparatively compared to other rents in the San, San Francisco area. Um, so despite the rain, you're thinking of coming back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you are working a little bit with some, or, or your, your uh, doctor, Stephen Deeks, is working with some Seattle researchers yes. on this, uh, at, and these are HIV researchers at right. Fred Hutch. And yeah, exactly. Do you think you'll be working more closely with them, or are you going to still um, run that through? It's possible. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Stephen Dix has actually set me up with um, several doctors in the Seattle area, and okay. um, uh, if things um, come as as planned, um, I probably will be seeing some of them. Okay. Um, but I may even I might continue to fly back to San Francisco. And occasionally. one one of the things you said at the press conference was how difficult a bone marrow transplant was. I assume that's what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, would you recommend anyone, if they could find a donor with these genetic mutations and they had HIV, would you recommend a bone marrow transplant as a um, treatment? I would recommend it for, um, for people that uh, 
worry either um, on, on their deathbed um, uh, who didn't have any other choice um, to uh, to survive um, in that case it would be um, it would be uh, a good idea for them to get uh, get a stem cell transplant um, or if they were um, in like in my case um, they had leukemia or um, lymphoma or um, uh, other diseases that um, had would have to have a stem cell transplant mm -hmm. um, in order to, for them to survive. Um, it would make sense, but not just for I no. HIV. No, yeah, too too um, tough. Unless unless they were, unless they had all their options, um, gone through all the the options as far as drugs. Okay, well, uh, anything else to add? Um. That I haven't asked. Just <laughs> that um, I would like uh, like to um, tell people that uh, to please support my foundation, the Timothy Brown Foundation. I'll mention it. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Timothy, and and uh, let me know when you get back to Seattle, and all right. I'll, I'll show you where all the the good food and coffee is now. Good, good. All right, thank you.